This story is about Elliot Roger, a 22-year-old man who killed six people and injured 14 others on May 23, 2014 in Isla Vista, California. If you like hearing stories about people who suck, click the like and subscribe buttons. Elliot Oliver Robertson Roger was born on July 24, 1991 in London, England. His father is Peter Roger, a British filmmaker known for his work in the 2009 documentary Oh My God, and his work as a second unit director in the 2012 movie The Hunger Games. His mother is Lee Chin, a Malaysian Chinese nurse who worked on film sets and later as a research assistant for a film company. He also has a younger sister named Georgia, who has worked as a production assistant on various projects including A.D. The Bible Continues, Army of One, and Desert Warrior. When Roger was five, his family moved to Los Angeles, California. When he was seven, his parents would later divorce and his father remarried to a Moroccan actress named Somaya Akabun, who was known for her roles in films such as Green Zone, Playing for Keeps, and Lovelace. They would later have a son named Jazz, who was Elliot Rogers' half-brother. His family had money problems because his father had used the equity in his home to finance the documentary, Oh My God. Because the movie did poorly, his father was plunged into debt and could not make child support payments. His mother did not make much money working as a research assistant for a film company. Roger felt entitled to wealth and was resentful of his parents for not making more money. When Roger was 8 years old, he started seeing therapists and received psychiatric treatment, including medication for various mental illnesses and disorders. However, he refused to take any of the medication that was prescribed to him. His father thought he had OCD and his mother thought he had Asperger's syndrome, but he was never formally diagnosed. When Roger was 9 years old, he wrote in a journal that he realized that there were hierarchies, that some people were better than others. Jealousy and envy, those were two feelings that would dominate his entire life and bring him immense pain. When Roger was 13 years old, he became a recluse and spent his days playing World of Warcraft. In high school, Roger said that he was bullied and he was taped to a desk, pushed into lockers, and food was thrown at him. He said he didn't have any friends and that he was an innocent, scared little boy trapped in a jungle full of malicious predators and was shown no mercy. He also cried by himself at school every day. Other people later said that they tried to be friends with him, but he rejected them. He started a blog where he complained about loneliness and rejection. He went to online communities that were associated with misogyny and anti-feminism. When Roger was 18 years old, he was filled with resentment and anger. He was too terrified to approach women, so he found it easier just to hate them all. After high school, Roger moved to Isla Vista to attend Santa Barbara City College, but later dropped out. He would often go around throwing drinks on couples he was jealous of because he was alone. He once attended a party, but no one liked him, so he tried to push a bunch of girls off a ledge. Some guys intervened and pushed Roger off the ledge instead. Roger called the cops and tried to play the victim, but the police quickly figured out that he was the aggressor, not the victim. This party was the trigger that caused Roger to begin planning his shooting rampage. He saved up money he got from his parents and grandparents and bought three handguns from three different cities. He made a manifesto titled, My Twisted World, The Story of Elliot Roger. He later made a citizen's arrest on his roommate, Chang Yuan James Hong, and accused him of stealing candles, but the police dismissed the charge due to insufficient evidence. Roger started making more disturbing YouTube videos. His parents saw this and alerted the police. The cops interviewed Roger at his apartment but decided that he did not meet the criteria for an involuntary mental health hold. They also did not see any reason to search his home, so they left. Later on in Roger's manifesto, he claimed that the search would have ruined his plans. On May 23, 2014, Roger started his rampage calling it his day of retribution by stabbing three people to death. These people were his roommate James Hong, his other roommate George Chen, and their friend David Wang. He then uploaded his final YouTube video titled, Elliot Rogers Retribution, and sent his manifesto to 34 people including his parents, other family members, his therapist, former teachers, and classmates. He was frustrated because he was a virgin who could not get a girlfriend and blamed women for not wanting him. So his solution was to take it out on the entire world by going on a shooting spree. He got into his BMW, drove to the Alpha Phi sorority house near UC Santa Barbara, and knocked on the door. He was planning on killing the girls in the sorority house, but when no one answered, he shot and killed three random Delta 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 sorority sisters who happened to be nearby. He killed Catherine Cooper and Veronica Weiss, and wounded Bianca DeCock. He got back inside his car and drove until he was outside the Isla Vista Deli Mart, where he shot and killed a student named Christopher Michaels Martinez. He drove away and passed four police officers who did not suspect that he was the shooter and just let him flee the scene. Roger shot six more people and ran over six others using his car. He got into a gunfight with a sheriff's deputy but escaped unharmed. He got into another gunfight with three sheriff's deputies near Little Acorn Park. He was shot in the hip but drove away until he crashed into a bicyclist named Keith Chung. 
That was when Roger decided to take his gun, put it up against his head, and pull the trigger. After Roger committed suicide, the police arrested Chung because they thought he was a second shooter. They later figured out that Chung was not a second gunman and was in fact a victim that was injured by Roger. The police searched Roger's apartment where they found the bodies of his first three victims. After his death, Roger became the poster boy for incels, those who are involuntary celibate, basically lonely people who can't get a date. His manifesto basically blamed women for the fact that he never fit in and felt lonely and insignificant. His manifesto also included racist rants. He resented full Asian men and called them disgustingly ugly. He stated that he was superior to them because he was half white. He also stated that black men were ugly and inferior because they are descendants of slaves. Since Roger was half white, he believed that he descended from British aristocracy, so white women should choose him instead. He also became a sort of martyr that inspired misogyny and violence against women. His father said in an interview, I don't understand it. I can't wrap my head around it. It will haunt me. Haunt me for the rest of my life. That's the end of the video. If you liked the video, click on the like and subscribe buttons. It only takes two seconds and it would really help me out. Feel free to check out the other videos on my channel.